Ah! Russia! Well, what are you doing here? <laughs> Just checking on you, old friend. I heard things got a bit uh, hectic over here, so I can't... Don't lie to me! You know better than I do what's happening here since half of it you sponsor and orchestrate! I... I just can't with you anymore! I think... I think we need a break. I just want to hang out with the EU. Well? Say something! Russia? Hey! Talk to... Ah! Watch it, you commie bastards! Oh, piss off, you capitalist pigs! Hey, uh, isn't it better to become their friends? Oh, my dear Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic, our worlds are too different. Just enjoy the moment. Maybe you're right. Let's make the best of it while it lasts. Ha! Ah, the Soviet Union is gonna last forever! Just like our friendship. Am I right? Yeah, <laughs> right. Breaking news, comrades! There's been a coup attempt in the Soviet Union. A group of Soviet hardliners tried to take control of the country. They failed. But it's worth asking, are the days of the Soviet Union over? I guess I was wrong. Time to become just... Ukraine. Huh! What's the liberal and free market-based sensation I'm feeling? I guess it's... time. Let's not delay the inevitable. Goodbye, Soviet Union. Oh, don't worry, my gooey red friend. Your sleep will not be eternal. I'll see to that. I'll see to that. Hey, comrade, I mean, good old friend. <laughs> Hip new look you have there. Hey, Russia. Nice look yourself, uh, friend. Yeah, yeah, good talk. Hey. Will you join my new post-Soviet support group? I call it the CIS. Basically a friendly military alliance controlled by me, I mean by us, uh, with members of your country, of course. Uh... Thank you for joining the Commonwealth of Independent States, or as the cool kids call it, the CIS. And uh, thanks for at least showing up, Ukraine, despite not wanting to be a full member or whatever. Anyways, Let's discuss why America sucks. Huh, not too bad, actually. Who would have thought we would still be friends after the USSR dissolved? Huh, things are going to be all... Who the what now? Ooh. What do you mean you have nukes, Ukraine? You want to be a nuclear power now? Is that a threat? No, these bombs are leftovers from the Soviet Union. I don't even know how we had so many. Hello? Those bombs are belong to me. You know it, I know it, even Lenin's preserved brain knows it. I'm okay with Russia having them back. Is that... Are you friends with America too? No, I... Anyways, make up your mind, Ukraine. You want to be nuclear power? Come face to face with us superpowers. Oh, and uh, <laughs> Lenin's preserved brain? What? Gentle balls, I'm here today to formally declare that I literally don't want to have a ton of nukes in my basement. I just want to be friends with everyone. So I'm giving them back to Russia. But I have some conditions. Here we go. There must be no military or economic coercion used against me unless it's in self-defense in the accordance with the charter of the UN. Basically, I'm unarmed. Please be my friend and don't attack me. Unless we feel threatened, right? I mean, as I said, if... And this is not legally binding? No, but... Awesome! Just double-checking. Now, <laughs> give me the nukes. Okay, now that that's settled, I can go back to being... Hello, friendo! Did you miss me? I literally just saw you an hour <laughs> ago. Missed you too. Hey, since you're so inclined on giving back my gifts, can I have Crimea back, huh? No! Crimea voted for independence like the rest of us, okay? You're stressing me out with this sketchy business. God, he's so clingy. Hey, Georgia! Ukraine, how's it been? Good, It's it's been good. Had an orange revolution a few years ago, so that was a thing, but you know, I'm doing all right. Cool, uh, any news from Russia? Well, 
I think he really misses the old days, but... Hey, how's it going? Do you know my friend, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization? My friends call me NATO. So hey, a uh, little eagle told me that you'd like to have better relations with the West and that you'd like to be protected against Russia. So what if we discuss the magical pipeline to, to NATO, NATO membership? membership? Discuss? Yes, that's what I said. Joining takes time. So you want us to publicly discuss that we joined the group that was created to stop the Soviet Union? Well, it's either that or you're both on your own. Maybe it's not such a bad idea. I don't know. A wrong move could screw my relationship with Russia. Also, did you forget we gave them our nukes? And that our peace agreement means nothing if they feel threatened or, I don't know, just decide to ignore it? Relax. I'm absolutely sure Russia won't take it the wrong way. After recognizing Georgia's breakaway regions as independent states, Russia has invaded Georgia proper and is making fast progress towards Tbilisi. Yo, I think you sketched out Russia. Hey, don't put this on me. How am I supposed to know what the crazy guy is gonna do? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Hey, old buddy, old comrade. Little Bertie told me you want to be friends with NATO. You know that complicates our friendship if, uh, I don't know, they put missiles in Ukraine and point them at Moscow. As paranoid as always, Russia. NATO? Ukraine. Do you talk to that slimy weasel right now? You both called me! Get out of here, Russia. You lost the curve, and now... You're going to lose Ukraine. No! Ukraine is going to remain neutral buffer state! Case closed, mother... Russia, no! I won't be anybody's buffer state. Why is it that you big guys pretend to be our friends when in reality you just want to use us, smaller balls? If by smaller balls... You mean smaller country? Shut up, NATO! Why are you so pushy? You're both so god <laughs> pushy! Okay, hopefully everything will be okay from now on. Whoa, crazy party! Russia? Well, what are you doing here? <laughs> Just checking on you, old friend. I heard things got a bit uh, hectic over here, so I can't... Don't lie to me! You know better than I do what's happening here since half of it you sponsor and orchestrate. I... I just can't with you anymore. I think... I think we need a break. I just want to hang out with the EU. Well? Say something. Russia? Hey! Talk to me. Ah, dude, what the hell? Uh, I finally have Crimea. That's why you came? Well, oh, that's it. I am definitely out of your stupid commonwealth. Shut your mouth. Now listen closely for the last time. If you continue to be friends with NATO and the EU, I'm gonna f you up real bad. F Looks like Ukraine's cozying up to the EU. Plus, they're becoming a competitor for our sexy natural gas deals. <laughs> so, what do you say we invade them? Is this such a good idea, sir? Ukraine produces a lot of world's wheat. <laughs> Don't worry. With our super advanced and coordinated military, we'll have everything under control in no time, right? <laughs> right, guys? Right? Yeah, oh, right, 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 right. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Besides, it's not like the West is gonna leave a bunch of really intense sanctions against us that totally f***s up the economy, am I right? No way! No way! Soldiers, do your thing! Down, boy, down! In other news, Russia has begun an invasion of Ukraine, saying it plans to denazify the country. NATO allies have begun a series of sanctions against Russia. But, but why? I don't know. Some complicated geopolitical bull that's going to ruin your life and mine. Well, I know I'm supposed to hate you now, but take care. And I know I'm supposed to blame you for what your government is doing, but 
Thanks. Accept reality, Russia. Ukraine wants to be inside of us. A, strange choice of words. And B, we will not tolerate your expansionism, NATO. And we won't tolerate yours. Talk some sense into him or we're all going to war. <laughs> you and me again, old friend. <laughs> what is this? The 60s? You heard NATO. Leave the Ukrainians alone or I'll have to interfere. That's fine. More great for economy. Distracts restless population from humdrum life. You know what I mean, eh? No, stop it. What do you want? A hot war? Why are you so spicy? Ukraine used to be part of us. And we used to be one country with Canada. But you don't see them acting all sketchy and shit, do you? This conversation has run its course. Dos vidanya, bro. Russia, if you do this... I know. <laughs> I guess we'll see what happens. Holy borscht, what the f <laughs> Hello, friend Ukraine! We just to put a bunch of military here beside you is no large deal. Come on, man, could you please not? After a considerable thought and deliberation, uh, we still do. Ah, oh, hello there! <laughs> We're just going to put a bunch of military stuff right over here. No big deal, just a few tidbits, you know? <clears throat> I wouldn't worry about it at all. Thank to help with refugee border crisis! I simply could not believe you are to engage in such provocation. <laughs> it is absolutely unheard of. God damn it, Russia! That's it. We're gonna sanction the hell out of you and we'll see how the Russian people feel about footing the cost of your war. Hey, bro, it's not our war. Ukraine is filled with Nazis. They were going to genocide Russian people in the Donbas. What the f are you talking about? You invaded Crimea. You've been funding the violence in Donbas. You have one of the most powerful militaries in world entirely pointed at us. We didn't start this, you droopy-necked old warmonger! Whoa, there's no need for name-calling! Name-calling? You just called the civilians you're bombing in my cities Nazis! Our president is Jewish! What you all need to do is stop measuring dicks across the rest of the world! Hey, we just don't want to be surrounded by NATO! Well, guess what? Everyone wants to join them even more now. And if you take Ukraine, you'll just have more NATO countries bordering me, idiot. Oh, but what if someone tries to invade us? You're a nuclear power with massive military. No one is invading you. Stop living in the past, man. We can be neighbors with shared history without being afraid of each other. There are ways of communicating without oppression and domination. So, what do you say? Can we stop this? Today I announced special military operation in Ukraine. For too long, the people of the Donbas, ethnic Russians, have been under threat. For too long, NATO has expanded to our doorstep. Despite past agreements, despite recent requests that they calm the F down, but now with NATO military infrastructure nearing our borders and the Russian people under threat in Ukraine, we have decided to intervene. We will denazify Ukraine. We will heal Ukraine with guns and bombs. And besides, USA invades lots of people, so why can't I? <laughs> I'll show you why you can't, you, you son of a... America? Listen, man, I'm kind of busy right now. I know, bro, I heard. This whole thing totally blows. So I was thinking, if you want, I can evac you out of there. Evacuate? Now? Well, yeah, I, I figured you wouldn't want to... Are you kidding me, bro? I need guns and ammunition, not to ride? Whoa, what? Are you all right? Sounds crazy. I have to go, man. I'll talk to you when I can. What am I going to do? I'm outnumbered. 
Man, I really hope our supply line maintains. Feels a bit sketchy, you know? Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hmm. Wait, 141 of you voted against Russia's war, but only 45 of us are going to sanction them? Ugh, lame. Not all of us believe sanctions are an effective tool of diplomacy. Are you sure it's not because half of your arms supply comes from Russia? Like you want to talk about arms sale. And the EU gets lots of gas from Russia. Welcome to the interconnected world. Well, uh, we've got a plan to get off Russian gas by the end of the year. Yeah, see, here's a plan. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, I know that laugh. Ho, 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 ho. Good job, friend Europa. Get off our gas if you want. See what happens. Don't make threats, Russia. What do you, you know? We were just thinking of doing some pipeline repairs. <laughs> if you think that's going to scare off my military industrial, I, I mean us, scare us off, then you... God damn it! You all need to stop sitting around, talking, and send me more guns! Ukraine, what you do here? I'm just as much of a member of the United Nations as you are, Russia! Ooh, somebody's touchy. Because you're bombing my country! I'm allowed to be mad! The entire UN should sanction him! Uh, fun fact, as member of Security Council, I have veto power. <laughs> so, not going to happen. Exactly! So send me more guns and ammo, you... Sure, we have to move. What the boars? God damn it! I gotta go. Ah, that's it. NATO Europe, huddle time. Look, guys, we gotta send Ukraine more aid. Lethal aid. Who's in? This would be very unprecedented. It's our policy not to send weapons to conflict zones. Well, that's a stupid policy. He's right, eh? Dumb policy. And I can't use my normal budget for military spend. Well, that's dumb too. You should, you should change that. Well, we could activate the European Peace Facility. What the heck is that? It's a special mechanism that allows us to spend more money on militarization. Yeah, you call your military funding a peace facility? Yeah, that's weird. I just call it my explosion fund. Look, the reality is we all need to start militarizing and we need to arm Ukraine. We haven't exported weapons to war zones since World War II, but screw it. Let's do this. Yes, I knew you guys still had some violence in you. Now, we have one last problem. How the heck do we get all those guns to Ukraine? Oh! Hmm. You guys are neighbors with Ukraine, aren't you? Okay, keep your eyes peeled, my little onions. Ukrainsky could be around the corner. More fuel and supplies better be around the corner, too. Yeah, after the last Ukrainian attack, we're running way low. Come on, Timo Slav, don't be such negative Nazi. If we need supplies, we ask Ukrainians. You think they'll help us? Of course. We saved them from evil Western Nazi regime. Right. Hello, it's me, Russia. Can we... Hello, we were just hoping... Hi, would you? Hello. We were hoping to talk to you today about our Lord and Savior, Vladimir Putin. Oh, to heck with it. If they won't recognize us as their rightful saviors and give us stuff, we'll just... I really cannot believe they aren't more thankful that we're helping them. You may have some unrealistic expectations about this war, sir. You brought us into a messed up city. Very, very careful. You know, oh no, I have family in this town. One of my friends is from Kharkiv. We've damaged his supply lines badly. And we have it been down for now, but... But we need more pom-poms! Precisely, sir. What about the rest of the country? He's made gains in the east and the south. Heavy combat is ongoing at Zaporizhia Pope 
We're outgunned! Hold him as long as you can and then fall back! Yes, sir! More weapons! I need more weapons! if I'd kept all those Soviet nukes! Damn it, America! Where are you guys? Great! Just great! Come out and play, little Ukraine! <laughs> Time to become neutral! I'll show him neutral! Okay, Russia, let's... Whoa, hey, man! You actually don't look so hot. What? You shut up. My military supply chain planning was impeccable. I I didn't say anything about... Hey, what happened to your friend? I don't want to talk about it. Now, I hope you're ready to become a Russian. I mean, neutral buffer state. You know what? Fine. It was going to be nice, but fuck it. I'll go down fighting. Hey, Ukraine. Thought you might be needing some of these guys. Hit it, Poland. Toodles, chumps! Looks like Christmas came early this year. Oh, heck. How do you like it, huh? Does it feel good to be scared? Whoa! Whoa now, friend! Let's not make rash decisions! The only rash I have is you, Russia! I don't care anymore! Get out of here, or I'll give you a hot mouth full of rocket ice cream! You know what? You're right. I'll just head back where I come. And we, uh, we call it day for now. Better not be trick! No trick. Look. See? I'm leaving! No big deal. No, I need a friggin' nap! Hey, yeah, no, it's not going like we planned. We're going to have to change tactics. I want to go back and fight, Papa, like a real man. Oh, Jimmy, to fight or not to fight, this is not what makes a man. Fighting is not always strength. Strength can be resilience, thoughtfulness, or compassion. Many things. What about our soldiers? I hope that they fight. Not to prove themselves as men, but, but to protect others. Now come, let us go visit Aunt Amelia in Krakow. She's expecting us. Dude, I'm getting pretty freaking sketched out. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ah, uh, I know it's the government calling the shots and not the majority of the people, but it really feels like he could do anything at any moment. I don't think we have any other option. <laughs> I guess, I guess we should call the E. So, you guys went in on this? Ah! <laughs> Man, don't do that. What did you even? How? Hey, don't worry about it. Uh, so, you in or what? The hazing, I mean, application process takes a while. Yeah, let's let's start the process. Uh, we, we want to join the EU. Retreat! Man, I really need some. Hey, Ukraine, want aid? Man, it's freaking cold here. You think that's bad? We, we need natural gas for heating, and Russia is the biggest exporter. Oof, that is freaking awkward. Says the guy that supports me with aid, but buys their gas. Hey, we promised to end our dependence on Russian gas by... Here's your cut, jerk! <laughs> Thanks again for transferring our gas to European countries! It's complicated, okay? Our cut is huge, and we don't want you guys to just be 
Qatar. You're doing it for us? Yeah, th that, and I need those sweet Russian rubles to survive this war against Russia. That really is totally effed, bro. Hey! Oh, it's Boogie! God damn it, guys! I'm sick of paying the bill for this war in Ukraine. You should all care more. America, you always complain about sending more this, sending more that, but your way huge economy. Yeah, and as percent of our economies, we give way more than you. Oh right, I guess. Uh, I guess I forgot that different balls have different capacities. But these guys give less even though have bigger economies than us. Aha! I knew it! See? I was right. Well, partly right. Whenever I'm wrong, I'm always partly right. Confirmation bias! <laughs> but, technically, we've committed more military aid than everyone except the USA, UK, and Poland! Shit. We appreciate the generosity, America, but not everyone is an insane military behemoth like you. <laughs> yeah. But imagine if everyone was. <laughs> okay, America, I got some top secret level info for you. Oh, yeah. Give me that hot gossip. I'm going to attack Russia in the south. Did you hear me? In the south! I, I can hear you. God, why are you yelling? Wait, why is no one coming? Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> I hit you with the old disinformation! This was extremely unexpected! So, uh, what, uh, what'd you do for work? I party! <laughs> you want vodka? This is not shot, this is passport. Ah, I see you play shots and passports before! <laughs> Here comes the shot! Ah! I hear there is talk about Belarusian identity. Hey, man, look, it's not a big deal. We could unify any time, you know? <laughs> well, hello, ladies. Oh, you think what I'm think? Monsieur, you cannot just invade places that have a minority of your people just chilling there. You're just constructing your own diasporic in-group in order to take territory, you bloody... <laughs> so, no threesome? Oh, cry me a river, will you? <laughs> 